Hi, this is Bart Paulson, and this video is going over the 20 concepts curriculum that uh, Cycling74 puts on their webpage to explain how to use Jitter, uh, the video component of Max slash MSP slash Jitter. This is the very first lesson. It's called Visi Part 1, and it's a very basic introduction. I actually really like it because instead of showing this is a bang and this is a chord and stuff, they start with something, uh, these real either complex objects, uh, the Visi modules as a way of getting things going. Um, the very first thing it says to do is to is to add in a Visi player module. I've got one here already, but if I just put this into edit, you can get it by right clicking and paste from Visi control. I'm sorry, Visi uh, PVR for player viewer recorder. And you know, there's the player that would put one in if we wanted it. I've got one in here, and I've also added a viewer. Um, module same way paste from viewer there it is it's number seven because i've opened and closed the patch several times with the uh, application open but I, I only have one window right now um anyhow it, you know it's really easy this is a little uh, sample video that comes with max and um i just click on this and theoretically it's gonna run through there we go so we're running through, all is well. Um, and then what it suggests is that we start trying, uh, for instance, adding effects. So I'm gonna unlock the patch here. Oh, by the way, I also have this message that says to read the B-Ball movie. Uh, and because it's in the default max patch, it, it actually knows where that one is. And I also have a load bang to automatically load the movie into the Visi module through the uh, right inlet. You see, there's the right inlet. And it can load a movie. Um, but let's see here. Uh, the player, uh, in the 20 concepts curriculum in Visi Part 1, they suggest adding some effects. So, for instance, if we're lucky, there we go. I've got an effect here. It's the rotator. And you get that one by going to paste from Visi Effects, and uh, there's rotator and a bunch of others. Um, anyhow, there's the rotator module. If I lock this, we can uh, see it's got a bunch of different ways of working. It's all very nice, very nice. But we can add another effect as well. Um, and what the little curriculum asked for was the slider effect. So we've got the rotator doing its thing up here. And we've got the slider down here, which kind of mushes things up. Okay, cool. So there's two different effects. Just have them, uh, the original video file looping through first the rotator, then going through the slider, then to the um, uh, to the display. Can make it a little more interesting if I unlock it, and then we can add uh, instead of using a video file, we can actually use the um, the webcam. Here's the webcam down in the basement working on my computer. Uh, I can flip left and right by clicking on that to make it, you know, more like what I see. And actually, you see, I've got the both of them feeding in right now. So I think if I do one more, oops, didn't mean to do that one right away. That is the Twiddler. That's an object that's called a generator that actually feeds in uh, input to these. I'm going to, I'm going to come right here and I'm going to, um, Oh, good. That one is turned off now. I disabled that patch cord, and I've got this one coming up, and we're going to turn on the Twiddler here. Uh, I'm going to lock the patch, and then turn on the Twiddler. There we go. And what that will do is it automatically sends in adjustments to these uh, two parameters on the rotator. I could also hook it up down to the slider if I wanted. But right now it's just running through rotator. Um, the slider is set on like this permanent stun mode, so Okay, there's an effect. Um, another option, if I unlock this, is to actually use what's called a mixer that lets you put up to four different channels in um, at once. And so what I've got here is I've actually got this channel feeding in, the player feeding straight in, and the grabber feeding straight in, and then this effect feeding in, and this effect feeding in. Um, although the slider effect feeds in from the rotator. So uh, anyhow, I just start clicking on 
some of these combinations and you see the things. Uh, one of the interesting things is this thing down here, the mode, that lets you switch from one method of combining video to another. There's the modulo, additive, average. Okay, it's kind of crazy stuff. Um, just a couple of other things to do here. I'll unlock the patch. Now, even though this was not part of the uh, Visi Part 1 tutorial, I added a starter that I can use to sync up the various objects. I don't actually have to connect it with anything. So you see, for instance, I can use it to start. Um, I can stop everything. I think everything is stopped. I can start everything. That's a nice thing. When you have a lot of effects, that works well. And another thing that was not part of this one um, is I created a patter object, uh, to, a way of saving presets. And so, for instance, I can click on this one, and that saves one set of presets, and this saves another set of presets. Anyhow, um, with the... Uh, and I've, oh, by the way, I can also do full screen right here. I can click on full screen and... There we go. We're full screen with something super psychedelic. I'm going to escape from that. Anyhow, that's uh, the first lesson in the Cycling 74's 20 Concepts Curriculum Visi Part 1. Thanks.